Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to bridge USDT TRC20 into MetaMask using the BTC20 bridging service. And this is to enable you to be able to buy B fuel and harvest. Now, harvesting is a really important part of the mining operation. By bringing BTCC on chain, we are creating liquidity. And once we've created enough liquidity, we'll be able to apply for Bitcoin code to go onto the exchanges. Now, using USDT TRC20 isn't the only way. You can use USDT BTC20 directly rather than bridging in TRC20. And now if you've got a Boomerang refund, you can obviously use the USDT from your Boomerang refund and send it into MetaMask and you can start to harvest using USDT BTC20. Okay, let's jump straight in. Hello, so this is how you can bridge from your TronLink wallet into MetaMask in order to transfer USDT from TronLink into MetaMask. So first thing you wanna do is go into your MetaMask account and copy this wallet address. So you just copy that. Now, just for your own uh, knowledge, if you just write down how much USDT you've got, if you don't remember it easily, but just remember, look, I've got here just short of $54 worth of USDT. So then you can confirm that it's landed because you'll remember how much was there. So now I've done that, I can switch and go to my TronLink wallet. And again, take note here, I've got 51 or just short of 52 Tron and just short of $240 of USDT. If you haven't got anything in here, then you're gonna to need to transfer Tron into here. 30, $40, $20 would be enough to be to start with. And you're gonna to need to send in the USDT that you plan to bridge. You can send it into here from any outside exchange that, uh, that uses the TRC20 network. It's really important that whatever you send into here is via the TRC20 network. If you don't do that, if you use any other network, the funds will be lost. This is your wallet address that you send to from whatever exchange it is that you're using. Okay, so this would be the wallet address that you send to. You need to send in Tron because this is where the fees are paid from. And you need to send in your USDT because that's what you're bridging across to MetaMask. So now at the bottom here, you can see Discover. So tap on Discover. Once you hit Discover, you'll come to this page. So you select this first option. It doesn't really matter which of these you use, but it's the top option, so just click on that. Then up here, this is the URL bar. So if you tap on that, you can X that out, and then you can start to type Bridge, Oh, look at that, I spelt that wrong. B, R, I. And you can see it comes up because I've already been using it. But if it doesn't, you just write bridge.bitcoincode.technology. And then I just tap that. And here we are at the bridge. Now, this is the bit that most people, including me, keep getting stuck on. And that is because we keep trying to connect to the wallet but you don't need to do that. You've opened up the bridge in TronLink, which means the bridge is now already connected to TronLink. So all you need to do is click here where it says releasing to, you just paste, let's try that again. You just paste your wallet address in there and that's all you need to do. So now you select this, and you put in how much USDT you want to transfer over. So I'll do $100. And if I just tap anywhere on the screen here, so if I just tap here, that'll get rid of the keyboard. And now all you've got to do is click Bridge. It's going to ask you for this. Uh, it's going to ask you here. You need to choose an authorization mode to continue. So you just, I didn't, I don't know what to choose. I just select Continue. Now it's, ask, it's showing you the details and asking you to confirm. And you can see the fee here 
is 32.42884 TRX. TRX is Tron. And that's $2.89 for that transfer, which is pretty cheap, actually. So now all I do is click confirm. Now I have to enter my password in. So now I've entered my password, I click confirm. And there you go. If you look under there, you can see the green transaction process going through. I don't know why it's underneath, but when that completes, that should be done. And that's it. So now if I come to assets, there you go. That took a minute to, to change. So you can see here, $100 has gone. And if I go to my MetaMask, you can see, look at that. You saw that change, the $100 landed. That's it. It's as straightforward as that. And that is how you use the bridge on your mobile phone. If there's anything that I've missed, let me know.